Good morning. See all these screws? Yeah. We're not going in with those same screws. We're going to go in with self sealing screws. That'll make it a lot nicer. Yeah. And more watertight. Yeah, you won't have all that. Kind of get it. Let us get us an action there. Oh, almost fell. <laughs> Tonight. Harbor Freight, got it when I was on sale, so it was pretty cheap, and we just put the scraper blade on it, cutting through all the caulking and weather stuff. Uh, it's cut our job down by, I would say, almost uh, five hours. Cuts through like it's, uh, like it's butter, so I recommend it. All right, so let me explain a little bit here about the roof. Okay, we got these Z channels right here that are all rusted out. And we're probably going to do something a little unconventional by getting rid of the Z channel and ripping 2x4s all the way down there. So we are actually building an inside cap once we put the rubber sheeting over that. Uh, should, in theory, be uh, waterproof. And then we'll put, uh, we're getting rid of all this metal roofing and we're applying uh, the rubber roofing by some more metal. Trying to do a cost-effective way, but yet uh, yet have a very good product. So what we had to do is remove all the caps, as you can see here. Move all the caps, all the uh, trim work that that puts the uh, fiberglass onto connects the fiberglass with the roof. This is the carnage. Now you have to get rid of every vent. You have to undo all the vents. And then we'll peel back the, uh, the metal roofing and uh, see what, how much wood needs to be replaced. So we're going to be replacing cross beams. We're going to be replacing the wood itself. 
buttoning everything up really tight using uh, self-sealing, self-tapping screws. And uh, that should be good. As you can see, this was my lowest point of the roof, right where the AC sat. That was the beginning of our my, my problems that I noticed, but it was weak. It was leaking way before I even got the RV, and uh, the owners knew about it, but didn't disclose that information. And that whole seam right there is just totally rotted out, which explains why the whole cab over has to be replaced. And you can see here, there's a cupboard inside back here where it was leaking into, so the wallpaper's coming off and stuff. And you can see by the amount of rust. How bad it was leaking all along this edge most solid spot so far on this roof is a shining spot right here where it had butyl tape on it so as you're going to see as we go along when we start replacing these things put butyl tape around them or under on them to seal them self sealing screws and then you caulk and seal the roof on top of all that so far minus the wood just with the roofing kit and stuff uh, I have about three hundred sixty five dollars into this roof until next time we'll see you on the other side of the road